I myself am enjoying Dragon Ball Daima, and I want to know if you guys are enjoying it too. Are you enjoying the story, the simpleness of it all, and the fact that it is between Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super? Let me know what you think in the comment section below, because in today's video, there is a trend going around since Dragon Ball Daima's last episode where people online would like to see Dragon Ball Z fully reanimated and the reason for this is because of what exactly happened in Dragon Ball Daima episode 1. This is where a lot of the actual fervor for reanimating Dragon Ball Z actually came from but Dragon Ball Daima's newest episode with Goku going into somewhat of a Super Saiyan transformation is giving everybody the hype that we all desperately want from Dragon Ball again. And that is the reason that a lot of people are asking for Dragon Ball Z to be reanimated, but could this possibly be a reality that we're facing? Could they reanimate Dragon Ball Z into a brand new show? It's possible. Now there is some precedence to this with a huge anime that is doing exactly that. We've seen in the past other anime do the exact same thing because they want to redo the anime to make it closer to what the manga actually had, such as Full Metal Brotherhood. But there is something new happening here in the next couple of years from one of the biggest anime on the planet and it is remaking. One Piece Remake is a project where they are going to remake the entirety of One Piece, but remove all the filler to closer fit what the manga actually represents. This is huge. One Piece is such a huge and massive anime that if they are going down the path of remaking One Piece, then to me, that also means that there are other anime out there that are just as big, if not bigger, that could do exactly that. Now, there aren't that many details on One Piece Remake, but there are whispers and a consensus that this is going to be the definitive version of One Piece. So if you wanted to re-watch One Piece, well, you may want to wait for the One Piece remake. That way you get closer to what the manga actually is with new animation style and techniques that are all consistent. We all know older anime had a way of not being consistently animated and Actually, Dragon Ball Super showcases that in spades. Ugly, ugly. But what about Dragon Ball? Could Dragon Ball possibly do the exact same thing? Well, in episode one of Dragon Ball Daima, we got huge swaths of the episode just being reanimated portions of the Boo arc, but these weren't just reanimated compared to what the anime had done. No, they were full redone versions of what the manga actually showed that that's exactly what you're hearing they weren't from the anime itself they weren't moments from the anime there were moments from the manga just animated for the first time because the anime got close to what the manga was but wasn't fully faithful and ever since that episode everyone has been asking for them to do the exact same thing and to be honest there is a possibility just in the way that Dragon Ball right now stands that it could be a reality. With how much praise Dragon Ball Daima Episode 1 got, especially due to those portions that were reanimated, how Dragon Ball Super Superhero got so much praise for the beginning portion where it was actually traditionally animated and basically the Dragon Ball original arc was redone, those two factors alone give Dragon Ball executives huge amounts of comfort in knowing that if they reanimated Dragon Ball, people would not be upset. Give the people what they want! You give the people what they want! Give the people what they want! Not to mention that Dragon Ball is kinda in the middle of a 
leadership change. We all know the sad passing of Akira Toriyama himself, but we don't really know what the outcome will be where, where there is infighting between Dragon Ball executives at Toei and the Dragon Ball room, as well as Toyotaro's place in everything now that he is named the heir to the Dragon Ball manga. So with Dragon Ball being in this sort of like quasi mode where it makes sense the reason they didn't want to keep going with the story after Superhero because they don't really know where they're going and they made something like Daima where it's in the middle of Boo and Super, it makes sense why that's the case because they don't really know what's going to happen next. So right now would be the perfect time for them to reanimate Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. It's probably the best time that we have and they have to reanimate Dragon Ball Super as well. Come again? I know that last little bit is going to be a bit shocking and like, what do you mean reanimate Dragon Ball Super? Well, they already reanimated Dragon Ball and it looks fantastic and I would want nothing less than for them to also reanimate Dragon Ball. But then they reanimated Dragon Ball Z with the Boo Saga in Daima. Both fit incredibly close to what the actual manga panels look like. Well, Dragon Ball Super and the Dragon Ball Super manga are nowhere near close enough to each other they have no connective tissue besides the story beats there are huge amounts of those stories that are completely different than what happened in the anime and the manga and vice versa meaning that if they were to reanimate dragon ball dragon ball z to fit closer to the manga i don't see why they wouldn't be able to just reanimate dragon ball super so it's identical to the manga the story wise even and just manga wise and creativity wise just make it Toyotaro's story and honestly that'd probably be the best bet because Dragon Ball Super's anime is all over the place when it comes to quality we all know what those first couple of episodes were we all know what the Frieza Resurrection of Frieza saga was it's terrible and so with them reanimating everything to fit closer to the manga well then that would mean that the quality could stay at a daima level at a early superhero level personally for me if they are going to go down this route i would say that they need to increase how many animators they even have mainly due to the fact that i would want the dragon ball original anime to be quickly dished out as well as dragon ball z and then dragon ball super so that way we can get to the next level of what we're going to be getting next with dragon ball super story because we don't know where we're going yes but that's my take on this. Let me know if you guys think that they should reanimate any of Dragon Ball. Let me know in the comment section below. This is going to be Blackscape signing off. Take care, guys.